car sharing from hearing about the car co-ops in Germany. We really thought that a mission-driven, locally-owned organization was going to be the only way to fulfill the potential of car sharing, to use it as a way to build community, to form links with other progressive organizations, to use it as a way to raise consciousness. Car sharing is a strategy to get to the larger goals of a transformed city. It makes sense that people should be able to share such a huge resource. There's something intuitive about it. It's something that my parents would get. There were just all kinds of things we wanted to do with car sharing that could only happen if it was a nonprofit. For funding, we started very grassroots and we had a series of house parties. We asked our families. We just tried to get everybody we knew to help out. We were familiar with all of the neighborhood groups that function in San Francisco, all of the community groups. It was really, really challenging to have that much responsibility all the time. <laughs> it was stressful, long hours. Everybody on the board was doing it for free. I certainly had a lot of worrying if, is America really ready for this? We got a phone call from the Federal Highway Administration, and that was a $750,000 grant. And it was for them so, so little, but to us, I think it was unbelievable. The most exciting moment was the first time I saw somebody driving a city car share car that I did not know. I'm very proud of my 10-year-old baby. We got this started, but the people who, who took it over managed to grow it in ways that we could never have imagined. I love being member number one. <laughs>